Hi guys, you're with Barry here, and uh, it's my pleasure to welcome three-time Mayor of Cabrera, Jorge Cavoli. Our uh, subscribers, a lot of them, I believe you know, come down and visit through through the DR scapes that we're doing this YouTube with, and one of their key issues is security. Can you perhaps go a little bit deeper into some of your ideas that you want to channel into this that can ensure that the the town remains fairly safe and, and things of that nature about how to do it okay in the two and something terms that i have been mayor of the city mm -hmm. we have never had a single corner killed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. never when we went out of office for six years mm -hmm. we had several foreigners killed you know i think that at some point the local authorities lost the grip on the town, you know? Mm -hmm. They maybe believed Cabrera was such a safe town, such a, you know, a family town, that that was not a concern security, you know? And the crime surprised the authorities, you know? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, you cannot lose the grip on that problem. You have to increase the levels of supervision on the police, you have to increase the level of supervision on the town and we 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 have to develop an attitude towards security the people but first of all the authorities you know so you know i'm very cautious you know with that you know i have my eyes always on the police here on the every you know thing that happened here and you know when people see you over you know putting your eyes and your hands on on everything you know they're no they know they're being watched you know and uh, i don't think that the crime rise mm -hmm. that took place here mm -hmm. was originally you know born in cabrera you know uh, i i would agree with that yeah i think we had some outside influence you know mm -hmm. but Everybody, the people from town and the people that are looking to the town, they have to know that we are watching, you know, that we're on, you know, we're supervising everything having to, to do with security here, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that helps a lot, you know, we're in permanent contact with the police, we're, you know, they know we're interested in in improving that area here you know so everybody works extra you know mm -hmm. and give their best you know and i think this is going to be very helpful if we have something going out of our hands and i have to knock on the door of the federal government i'm very willing to do it you know and they know that and i've been talking at different levels you know with author with police authorities about the situation of cabrera you know we cannot admit the security situation to go out of our hands you know Mm -hmm. Cabrera cannot be hurt anymore with such, you know, terrible uh, news, you know, that we saw in the past. It, 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 um, it has, uh, on, that, on the past term, increased a little bit. There was a little bit of a rage on it, but it seems to have subsided immensely about the violence. Uh, in, in terms of uh, the foreigners and what have you, um, but I think that's running rampant in the world, though. Not not just you know any one particular town. I mean, it seems that violence and crime is economic, politics change. Uh, it seems to be a duality, a personality. If you're not with me, you're my enemy. Instead of you know, okay, we lost the election. Now let's support the person who won. As a yeah. nation, people have have gotten into an individual type mindset. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah, I completely agree with you. It's, it's, um, I personally do not see it uh, as an unsafe place compared to many of the places I've lived, compared to Canada, compared to the States. Uh, if you look at what's going on daily, these things are happening. So the, the object is to catch it before it starts and keep it yeah. at that level. Is that correct? You're yeah. right. You should run for mayor. <laughs> no, 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 no. I couldn't, I couldn't. And I, I, I don't have... I don't have the, the wisdom to do it. I have the feel, you know, that 
when the time when people knows you have your eyes and your hands on everything you know that helps a lot with the crime because you know they know they're being watched you know they know that we take care of the town they know you know so so we don't have to we have to to keep on that track you know i've always said crime and stupidity are pretty close cousins oh, yeah and it's up to people to learn how to take care of themselves and as we, well. And we have to educate people as that's, well. That's you know? a big thing. People need to know in town, and I'm gonna, going to make sure most of people know that, that, that the crime, you know, affects our family, affects our economy, you know, and affects the tourism, which is, you know, a very import, important area of our, of our town, you know. What about, uh, I'm listening to you mention tourism several times, but what about a key... Not only tourism, for residential. Investment. Right, yeah. that's, that's where I'm going, because that's where the dollars stay yeah. in the country, and big hotel chains are wonderful, and we need them, and big yeah. projects are wonderful, we need them, but much of that money leaves the DR. Residential uh, investments of homes, building homes, creates employment, creates gardening, creates uh, services, maintenance, and that money seems to stay more localized, and to me that's very important for the economy. If the mm -hmm. money leaves, there, there's no real benefit yeah, to us. Right. Um, can you briefly talk I want about... To, I want to make sure. Cabrera a friendly town for foreigners, you know? But it already that is, has but been make it better. part of my vision. Absolutely, because yeah. well, an open mind is a wonderful thing. Yeah, uh, and uh, that that I want, I want foreigners to that. feel at home here, you know, in Cabrera, mm -hmm. and to be close to the authorities, you know, so they can talk to us and and we can listen to them, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important, you know. You've always made yourself well. Right now, uh, guys, <laughs> it's like a train station here, with everybody <laughs> wants a little piece of, <laughs> of Jorge, and uh, and here he is taking his time, mind you, at his own house. So that, that says a lot about the family, too. Till next time, this is Barry and DR. Catch you on the other side.